Hey guys, we're here at Yafi. We're going to show off the HTC flyer that they have here. So, let's just go through the device to do a brief round up. So, it's a 7 inch device, one, sorry, 124 by 600 screen resolution. As you can see, it has a front facing camera, a rear facing camera, no flash though, um, stereo speakers, stereo microphones, um, and basically that's all. Uh, they have a proprietary connect, well, not really proprietary connector. Um, it supports micro USB, but um, I think it has some extended features with their extended um, connector. On top, we have the power button and the standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And basically, no buttons, no physical buttons, no other physical buttons except for the volume buttons up here. And that's it. Pretty sleek device. Underneath this cover is the SIM card slot as well as the micro SD card. Even though it has a SIM card, it cannot make any calls, so it's basically like a data device similar to an iPad 3G. It can, however, um, do Wi-Fi tethering over as a Wi-Fi hotspot, which is a nice, nice, nice feature to have. SMS? Um, yeah, it can have SMS too. So the only feature that it's lacking to be a full phone is actual calling, which is kind of sad, but I guess that's not what they want this to be. Um, this, if you look at the specs here, it's a 32 gigabytes with one gig of RAM. Um, the 32 gigabytes is not all available for applications. If we go into settings here, you'll be able to see that um, only eight gigs is available for apps. There we go. There we go. Storage. So total is about 20 gigs for tablet storage and only about 8 gigs available for applications. It's running Android 2.3, which is gingerbread, uh, so it's not honeycomb, so it's, you'll get the typical apps you get on regular Android phones. So this is the improvement on Sense 2.1, I think. Yeah, basically, they have a version of Sense which is optimized for the flyer. So they have this carousel-like thing which looks nice, but personally I don't think it's of much use. Faster, faster. Um, but the main feature is this. This is an active digitizer or PEM, which can be used in conjunction with the HTC Flyer. So we have, they have this notes application. So let's start a new note. Where you can actually type and write on the, on the device itself. So we can type, hello world. If I can type, if I can, if I can type properly. But you can also world. write. So as you can see, um, hello, people. Yay! So what this does is enables people to take notes, and it scrolls infinitely, vertically. So in the sense, you don't have to worry about running out of space. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also actually take photos with this and annotate them accordingly. So we have the HTC Flyer box here. Let's we'll take a photo. Done. And once it, that, is, that is done, it will be embedded in the actual note itself, and you can continue annotating it. If you want to get the special stylus features, you just click or touch this little button in the corner with the stylus. You can't touch it with your finger. You can't touch it with your finger, you have to touch it with the stylus itself. And you get a specific um, applet here. So you can change the different colors. You can change the size of the pen, and you can also change the pen type, pencil, pen, paint, brush, fountain pen, felt tip marker, and highlighter, and eraser. You can also actually press, let's see, you can actually also press this top button. Normally, it will use, you will be using it to draw. You can press the top button to erase, and you can use this bottom button to highlight. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to press it, and I can highlight words, underline it for further emphasis. Hello wolf. Yes, hello wolf. wolf. Teen wolf or something. Wolf. Um, it also has this feature where you can actually record. So just say you're in a meeting, you can actually record the audio coming in through the two microphones on top here. And what is supposed to happen, it's supposed to be able to play back um, any changes that you made to the, to the document. So, hello, oops, hello, uh, 
Okay, it's gone all funky on me. I think I'm actually going to be pressing the button at the bottom. Hello, people. So, if things work out right, let's do a few more annotations, go back. Hello, people. Highlight people. So, do note that this is kind of a weird interaction that some things only react to your fingers and some things only react with to the stylus itself so it might take some getting used to so as you can see here this is the timeline we have up here we can drag into I think they'll show you the the previews of what you wrote at that time so if we play back we'll be able to hear the audio going on at each time you can only use the pen in pen optimized apps or applications that support it. Mm. If applications don't support it, what you do is when you touch the screen, it takes a, it takes a screenshot and then you can annotate accordingly on top of it. So let's just change. Here we have the PDF viewer. So you can actually open up PDF forms and actually annotate and sign it. So just say you want to sign my name, okay, uh, Tim. Then, so you can actually write on top of this and you can actually save this as a new PDF if you flatten it um, same top PDF so basically this PDF is saved like this that I can send out to somebody so this is good for officers just say perhaps they need to sign forms authorization forms you can sign it and send it off the only problem is this page is now saved as an image. You can no longer select any text. Mm. So, you can see here, I can highlight accordingly, but I can't do this on this page anymore. Oh, if yeah. I were to open up the original document, mm. you'll be able to see that this is actually text. Although, I think it's because we were flattening it, perhaps. Maybe we could just save with the annotations. Okay, so we'll, we'll uh, try, try that. It, yeah. Highlight this. Hello. Save as. We can save it. Um, test. Okay. So it's still as that. So it's still text. As long as you don't flatten it, mm. we'll save it as text. I sent the do document to my phone. As you can see, the written text is transferred over. But the highlighted seems to have blackened out. I'm using this as quick office. So if I try to find words, so let's try to find name. So you can see these are, these are still all text. So as long as you don't flatten it, everything still remains as the original PDF. And your writing or what, highlighting, I guess, is saved as another layer. Yeah. So, so I think this is the ideal way to do it. Yeah. Just saying as. Saving as and not flatten. Just save, yeah. I think flatten in the use cases if you want to send a signed document perhaps or contract. So, nice to have. So I guess it's a very business or business oriented tablet. Do note that all the application all the notes that are stored in here are actually synced to Evernote. So that's great because that means you can have all these notes stored in any other device, whether it's a computer or even your smartphone, all stored in Evernote and you will be able to retrieve it through Evernote. So that's the main draw of this tablet. <laughs> so that's the HTC Fly here at Yuppie. Um, it's a nice seven inch tablet and a good alternative to the aging Galaxy Tab. Uh, might be a bit more portable than something like the iPad 2. It has this great feature of the active digitizer, the stylus for you to take notes. And it has 3G as well. So if that's important to you, do check it out. And thanks for watching guys. This is the ATC Fire. This is Corner Geek signing out. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.